The big guys in Mega Man 1 are pretty random. So much so that there's this rumor going around that says that if you're in the air when they're about to jump, they'll always jump high. Never found this to be true. And this is really more or less just proof of concept. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see something called Ram Watch 0046 and a value that seems to just keep jumping up and then jumping around for some strange reason. Well, that is what is called the Random Seed. Now the Random Seed is basically a numerical value that's random. And most of the actions performed in the game are based on that seed, whether or not it is a certain value, do this. That kind of stuff. So I'm pretty sure what we should find here is the big guys are, their jump heights are dependent on the random seed. As they alternate the values between 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it should be alternating between a high jump and a low jump and a high jump and a low jump. And if that's true, it'll continue all that way through all the values that exist, which thus means that the random number generator is what dictates the jump height on Big Eye. So let's have a quick first test. This is how it works. As you can see, jumps high, jumps low, jumps high, jumps low, jumps high. Nope, you didn't jump high. Random. And this is why people get frustrated by this guy. All right, let's see what happens after I change some of the values. All right, so I've locked the value in at one. It just can't change. Every time it tries to update, it'll return a value of one. The idea here is that if Big Eye is truly random, or based on the random number generator, they will always do the exact same jump. Nothing you do, jump, shoot, or anything like that will have any influence on how he behaves. So let's see what happens. High jump. Okay, I think it's pretty clear that he is stuck in this mode and will probably not change. In fact, we can bring a second big eye on screen just to prove this fact. There he is. There we go. Check out that screen flickering. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that rules out any sort of behavioral things where you jump, you shoot, anything like that. They are not deviating from this high jump. All right, let's try it with a different value. All right, now we've changed the value to two. Let's see what happens now. Should be a low jump. That's just too low. It just does not jump high enough for you to run under. And you can't jump over him either, so this is like a... You're screwed no matter what happens here. See, I can't make him jump high, even by being in the air. And if we bring them over here and try to do anything, shooting them doesn't seem to change their behavior. Jumping doesn't seem to change their behavior. Nothing happens. So, so far, it's going as predicted. We'll move up the value two more times, see what happens, and then I think it's safe to say that uh, what the percentages are. Alright, so we are now at a value of three. This should be high jump again. High jump. Alright, the value is now four. If everything goes as planned, this should be a low jump. Low jump. Yep. I think it's pretty much confirmed at this point. Big Eye does not jump high when you're in the air because his jump height is pure RNG based on the random seed provided in the game. Nothing you do can influence the way he jumps. Don't know how that rumor started, but consider this myth debunked. 